what's up guys? This is the Brokeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States of America. And in this episode, this Indian army has wandered just a bit too close to Ahmedabad. So we're going to intercept them, destroy this force, and hopefully also these two armies behind them. So let's get to it. Uh, their army is roughly an equal split between cavalry and infantry, and it's mostly a bunch of dervishes. So we need to make sure that we don't go too mad in the attack because otherwise all we do is just reduce the engagement distance then we'll get mobbed by uh, mounted troops and then once the mounted troops have tied us up the mounted troops will come in so we, we're going to want to make sure we deploy as always to maximize our firepower but let's see what the terrain looks like probably want my thoughts are to focus on the mounted troops then my how oh, it's just to work on the infantry. Mm, kind of not ideal. We end up ever so splitting our army in half. So let's do that for now. Get the volunteers involved as well. Cavalry needs to stay. It's a responsive force. The regiment of horse can do some scampering around if they want. Marines are going to deploy behind. Actually, I might deploy my marines in between the volunteers because they can't form square. Skirmishes out on the left. Put artillery on the left where the ground's a bit more open. Howitzers deploy wherever get ready to start pumping out quick climb there more in the center um, that'll do okay I think that's everything for now just want my guns to pick on their cavalry Cavalry. Just preemptively form these men in the square. Well, back you get. the squares hold the left is that they're under fire with um they're under fire with artillery so i don't know as bothered about them okay shattered withdraw this cavalry okay, you guys get back here then you're gonna drop some squares in just hold the square Otherwise the left is fine. Let's re target my artillery, otherwise they're gonna start firing too much across our front line. That's not going to work. You play some stakes. Come with camels and elephant musketeers. Stay in square. Can we scout out on the flank? They'll help pick off the camel mercenaries. Might bring. Let's cross the area but did this flank. Okay, you guys need to 
push forward because we're going to start, the right flank is going to start to get a bit isolated. Okay, those, can you chase down the horsemen? Although that's one of my units on the left. Oh, they've broken due to artillery fire. Skirmishes run through the square. This infantry unit just stay in square. Shattered now. Okay, let's adjust our line. Something like this. Quick line, you. You. Gunners. You engage the musketeers, you engage the general's bodyguard, you engage that unit there. Horsemen are chasing down my skirmishers. Garcia are doing a real number on the dervishes. Go on skirmishers, turn around and fight them. You actually got chased. Get over here, General. Unit withdraw. See warriors on fire. You charge on the back of those dervishes, the volunteers attack. Okay, this whole line. Draw. You shot and shot the general, you shot and shot the unit. Also run. Okay, some send some cavalry off camel mercenaries. There you go. Blast of the general with a point blank shrapnel shot charge. Skirmishes try to get out of there. Yeah, I should mop up the camel mercenaries quite nicely. Bring the howitzer back. There we go, everyone's holding out. Okay, let's be a bit more intelligent about how we've broken up our line. Right, I 
away from the Islamic swordsman. Chance the dervishes in the rear. You knock some holes in these dervishes. Also knock some holes in these dervishes. You know they're just about to be in shrapnel shot range, let's just let them be for now. Okay, now let's go after the dirt now go after the Islamic swordsman if we can charge. trying to get him. Charge into the dervishes, try kill them. We can reinforce our army a lot more easily than the enemy can. This how it's way too close to the front. Dervishes are coming in to provide some support. Looks like they want to try charge my company infantry. Oh no, they want to charge into this combat, which is fine. They get my cavalry away. I don't want them to get bogged down in that sort of engagement. Let's triangle our line a bit better. No, don't worry about fighting them. Actually, they're shaking. Engage the swordsman. You engage the peasantry. You can now get out of the way. Just send my cavalry up here to go kill the mortars and the general's bodyguard back here. Is that my swordsman going to chase after us? Actually, you hold. Hold position. Biggest unit to go after the general. This unit go after the mortars. We're going to get around our flank. The 
mortars, have caused us to even out what we call our strongest unit. The Islamic swordsmen are broken. There we go. Just keep picking off the general bodyguard. Should start going down. Heavy cavalry versus general's bodyguard. Even elephants is always a winning combination. Regulars, get ready to fire again. Just keep pumping shots into these swordsmen. Make sure your guard mode off, because you're actually you're tired, but not super tired. Okay, right. Artillery, ceasefire. Continue. Ceasefire all the guns. Chase down these army swordsmen, general. Probably kill the armed peasantry. Other cavalry unit try and kill these swordsmen, but they're actually going to be quite spread out. Uh, the, the, these guys are spread out as well. So let's everyone try to kill the infantry. They are going to escape. Hey everybody, help this unit kill these swordsmen. Or at least try to. Looks like some of our cavalry units might actually be stuck. No, they're just stuck fighting some of the peasantry. Either way. We're chipping away at them. Three left. Yeah, we got this. Nice. That's a few units killed at least. That's pretty handy. Okay, so... Yeah, down from 4,400 to 1,000 men remaining. That's pretty good. Back you devils go. But because this is still the end turn phase, I am going to chop the recording and see you guys in a second. And we are back. But yeah, I have to chop the recording now because it's uh, very much chop the recording because not only is it Austria that's dragging us down, it's the Marathas, the Ottomans and the Russians all have fairly long end turn times. Like, it's not a quick canter through. Uh, right. Workers on strike in Hindustan. Don't mind, we've got everything repaired. Let's try and build some church schools. Let's see if this... This uh, army goes east. Because ultimately we do have this army back here. It can intercept. So you've got three spaces. You need two howitzers and infantry. Good. This is still ongoing. I'm fine with this taking time. Because right now it's, it's all about this army. Really, that's causing the problems. Um, okay, you're reinforcing. Whoa. So you've got four slots. You need... All that for artillery, my friend. Make ready. Abram Pitt is going to keep doing his push around the south. Ah, okay. You're already recruiting a howitzer. My mistake. Let's get rid of you. Okay, so you've got a defensive position on the bridge. By the left. March. Yes, 
You're also defending the river. So we're starting to block off the areas where the Maratha Confederacy can actually um, continue to push us. Let's take this army that's depleted. Get them to engage this army here. Push them back to the northeast towards Nagpur. Soon this is going to be a bit of a mopping up exercise. But we need to... We're getting, we definitely have the troops now to maintain a coherent front. And especially at the likes of Ahmedabad, I want the, tr the city to be able to be defended by just a load of infantry so my actual battlefield army can go out and do some good stuff. But yeah, I think the tide has very much... has completely turned against the Marathas and they are screwed. Right. Let's get my guns up on this bit of high ground. How it says, give us support. My cavalry is going to be grouped together in one large block, even the weak cavalry. First of all, how it's is target other things. Burn your light to place stakes, general flee. Actually I might make these cavalry units flee. <laughs> Let's bring all the cavalry over onto the right flanks. It looks like that's where they're messing. work because we're doing a lot of our killing out of range. Just keep picking off their mounted troops. So they're sending in camels to support the heavy their cavalry here. Not gonna work for them. probably come back there's not that many of them though they haven't lost many men it doesn't mean we probably have to okay draw the cavalry back come back there's not many of you you've not lost many men Killed a bunch of their own guys. Oh, they actually routed. Cowardly horse guards. The artillery start engaging some of the inf enemy infantry to our front. I 
potential scouts out on the flank. You kind of, kind of struggle with shooting because all I'm doing is just yeah, like that. See, they're both they're both wavering. Bring up the general support. That's why if you're gonna fire into an enemy a cavalry combat, you need to be like really specific on the angles you use. Like when a broken dirge is a broken great. Okay. okay, you have to get some. Okay, right. So you guys position. You can pour a pour. You can pour some shots into this large block of cavalry here. Even if you get attacked by camels, it'll still be worth doing. You guys are limber. Shrapnel shot that cavalry. Provincial scout, scout stop and put a volley into those camel nomads. Down to 18. Try to make them run as well. Oh, it says withdraw. Does that mean swordsmen there are going to perpetually be difficult to deal with as that as a large block? There we go. So curiously, that unit can just get stuck in. Yeah, like that unit there is in trouble. Unless I just make them run away completely. You men fall back. New men fall into the back of these dervishes. These guys are pursuing my cavalry, but they're leading, running right into my foot guards. Kill them, General of the Bodyguard. Form square. This gun team back here. Limber. Republican Guard are going to get into the Pindari Horsemen. Start knocking them down a peg or two. Republican Guard set up. Gunners back here. Is push up and set up. You can engage the polygon, you can engage the, uh, the guns if you like. You've got a good shot off. Come on, Mon General. Grenadiers will take these cavalrymen down, no trouble. My cavalry didn't even run away. That's why I'm not afraid of you, they were. Are you charging the back of them? Go ahead, switch to round shot, attack the 12 pounders. Okay, this gun team. Switch to round shot. Attack. 
Camel Nomads right at the back. You're also going to attack the foot artillery. That's the enemy line dealt with. Let's push forward. Try to deal with the enemy. Probably just speed up time. All engage the armed peasantry right at the back. Everybody else just run forward. Come on, you man, you can't abide that. It's a ceasefire. It's the end of them. Human advance. Just this last camel nomad unit right at the back. Their general. There you go. Kill the captain. They're dead. Let's just end the battle there, I think. So that was a bit scrappy. This is this is the thing with the Marathas, they've got they're not bad armies. Immediately. Okay, so you can continue to replenish. You need Ultimately you need not you need less bad cavalry. So you could do with two of these. Lay siege to Nagpur. Oh my god. <laughs> One lone cavalryman. Okay, let's bring you up as well into the sort of the right area. Okay, upgrade. Roads are being upgraded. Okay, so Abner Collingwood. You want to get to here and then engage Amul Tabezi. You want to engage the uh, garrison here in Naroon. Push them back across the river, hopefully take Naroon itself. Then Naroon will have to fortify and keep re uh, reinforcing because there's probably going to be a bunch of Maratha troops coming from Zahedan to try and stem the tide. So if we can take Naroon, we'll cut off that flow of reinforcements from the northwest. I'm going to want to just play defensively, just try not to lose as much men as I've lost in the last few battles. Nice and steady. Something like this. If you can quick light this camel, then rather you quick light them. The shrapnel shot is better. Get a lot of kills. Shrapnel shells are inbound. On detonated high. Got a couple. And this unit is now scamping around wondering what to do. All the shrapnel is focusing on one unit. Split our fire amongst 
number of units. I'm guessing that cav that cavalry unit is just not going to come back. Watch you men fall to musket fire. Yeah, you're getting involved into a bit of musket action. Still coming in. Are they going to make it to our line? Or are they going to die within sight of it? Polygar are coming in this time. their mind. Now they're coming in two by two. Well, unit by unit. Now they're going to try the right flank. These men have got plenty of loaded muskets as well. At least the hillman might have to might actually cause a some decision making around who I shoot at. They're advancing forward. They'll deploy just outside of our infantry range, but we're more than happy just to mop them up as they get to us. And again, I'm also happy to let them tie themselves out on the way in. Stakil, Bad Baji Regiment inf of Infantry. They're engaging this cavalry. No, they're engaging the infantry with artillery fire. This is the brave infantry unit that's going to be the first unit to get to our line. Once they crest the hill, they'll be within range of our musket fire. They'll be not, they won't be hidden by the hill. So artillery shots have hit. Quick climbs come in, but they're a bit too close. Making ready. Here comes the musket fire. Saw them off. Push the line forward. Get my Quick climbing how it says working on. You engage them, you engage them. Keep one gun team kind of supporting the centre of our line. Oh, good hit. Yeah, they're still coming in. Hit on the mercenaries. There you go, they're in musket range. Understandably, that's a bit of a concern for them. There they go. These mercenaries were not paid enough. Good. 
They said they're marching in. Good hits. Very good hits. I think we might be reloaded by now. Yep. Oh, there they go. Twenty first are storming in. Brave of them. They haven't lost many men. Dervishes. Yep, yeah, that'll soon be all of their infantry dealt with. It killed their officer in the colour party with a quick knife shot. This unit's blessed. The artillery's just not done a lot of damage to them. Peasantry being slaughtered. Oh, the officer doesn't think much of that. And he's away. So who's that? Bajir infantry, camels, artillery. Good hit. Knocks some out of the mercenaries, the peasantry, and the dervishes. Most major penetration, well, not penetration, but like advance on our lines yet. The mercenaries are pushing up. They're going to form up. Forming square. Okay, let's try our cavalry forward. not going to work. All my artillery folks fire that infantry unit. Let's get my company cavalry to go after those that artillery unit. They're mounted up as well, or limbered up. That's good. Completely untouched. Now hit them. Hit them hard. Now oh, we're starting to knock some corners off of them. We get the camel gunners before they form up and shoot our, our cavalry. Hey, my mercenaries didn't completely rout. Kill the cavalry. Kill the camel gunners, rather. My light cavalry is to definitely go after those gunners. And actually, let them let them limber up first. So if you let them limber up, they will destroy themselves naturally. Let's assume that infantry unit. Or routes. So now they're limbered out. When we kill them, entire gun teams will just will be killed without needing to chase everybody down, which is nice. Get my general out here. Oh, let's be time actually. This is gonna be thing. 
Kill the general. I'm not that overly bothered about that, because it is just just a regular camel unit. You guys kill this Bajir infantry unit. I'm not necessarily as bothered about taking the city. We are just just about, at the very least, controlling the road. And my light cavalry could be chasing down new guys, but they're going to escape. Knock out these mercenaries, at least. That'll teach you for fighting for the wrong side. Granted, we didn't pay you, but you should have known better. So we probably will push on and lay siege to the city. Might even be able to demand the surrender of it, actually. Siege them. Nice. So, we're going to repair the military governor's barracks, and we're going to fortify, and we're going to upgrade our... well, reinforce our army. So that's been taken, which is great. Um... Too bad that Mr. Goff here is in bad shape, otherwise you'd siege your diaper. Yes, sir. You can hmm. You make get out of the way of him, then push forward to here. Because you're gonna put pressure upwards towards Srinagar. Yeah, when this army is fully replenished, they're going to go after a diaper. You can go after, well, Mr. Veer can go after Eugène after. You may actually push up to here instead. Then once you've recruited your troops, you'll be pushing forward. Down here at Chicomoli. Something like that. That'll be one, another full army that can land around here and push for Zahedin. Okay. I'm glad the guy got better roads. Let's fix that as, again. Great industry. Medabad's fortified, which is great. Magdeburg. Let's keep upgrading our religious schools. Something like this. Okay, Europe. You are weak. As are you. Reasonably strong. Weak infantry component. Okay, you can put Stuttgart under siege. Don't worry about attacking, just put them under siege. The human advance up and give them support. Anything more? Let's probably use one of our smaller armies to deal with these two Austrian stragglers behind our lines. We're going to fight it normally just to make sure we don't overly damage our troops. We should probably deal with Cologne. No, Cologne, Alsace, Lorraine, Strasbourg. I'm probably getting a bunch of things wrong. There is a city that we've been sieging for a while. Um, now we're pushing into Westphalia. We probably want to tie it up and get it brought into the fold. So they've got it's a skirmish cavalry unit. We've got a lot of infantry. We want to minimise losses. So we are going to just sit here and pummel them with artillery just because we don't want to be we don't want to be delaying our advance any more than we absolutely have to I've 
worry. Gunner's up on the hill. Another general is fine. shot, fire at will, as you like. Not really bothered about what they do, just kill them quickly. Okay, now it's just this, these last three infantrymen. Now it's a ceasefire. Just wipe them out. I mean, it's just the officer, the stand, the uh, the company flag carrier, <laughs> and the drummer. They have no actual infantry, which is quite funny. Yep, yeah, that's them dealt with. Dead, dead. So you are considered now depleted. But that's not going to be the case. Ready and awaiting orders. Yes. Assuming you're going to Elroy and Mallory. No, you are not. It's far too many. March. Ready and Sir. waiting for orders. At the ready. Sir. Um, hmm. No, you were going Gentlemen to join. Not that army. They put all their Sir. cavalry in this army. the left march oh that's the other unit that was coming in men forward now oh, this army is at full strength again they can just keep pushing towards munich i'm not quite sure you you would have been after your own cavalry as well oh, okay your cavalry are going to go to this army Advance. You are also going to advance down this way. Two full strength armies, they're just going to start storming down. Xavier, you're recruiting artillery unit. Giles, you're reinforcing, you're reinforcing. Not quite sure what you're after then. So this is sometimes, oh, this is the unit that I wasn't, this is the army I wasn't really quite sure what I was going to do. Well, how I was going to use them. I mean, you're after just regular infantry, correct? And you're going to head this way. You guys are going to try, try and meet up again. Um, start to try to try deal with this with this uh, force here. You're just gonna push up towards even close towards the bridge. We're not gonna try push across the bridge yet. Okay, on old Babington, demand the surrender of Strasbourg. Lifting siege. They hide behind women's skirts. Oh, they just run away. Right. The detachment down here. I didn't realize they withdrew from forts completely like that. And okay. Lost a handful of troops there, but not a huge amount. Can you guys leave? Anything you more? can, and they don't hate us. Cool. Push on towards Munich. Let's see if I can can't bring you up as reinforcements. I think if I attack, I'll draw in the garrison of Munich as well, which wouldn't be terrible. Yeah, let's try it. Let's try it. Oh, no, I don't. But it's still an elite force here. We can capture the bridge. We're pushing towards Munich. And I think 
we are rapidly approaching the point where Austria is going to collapse. They're not going to be able to maintain the pressure. Then we'll turn our eyes towards Prussia to the north. We've still got the Balkans to kind of sort out as well. Beautiful. Force artillery is going to be up on the top of the hill. Okay, the gunners. Four infantry, a team of guns. Okay, more solid infantry. We'll cover the other side of the guns. Recruit my skirmishers. I've got a bugged general's bodyguard as well. Howitzers just open up from back here. Weak units of infantry just hold. So we're all this side of the river. Bugged unit of horse grenadier guards. My light cavalry sharpshooters have shot a few of my mercenaries in the back. Skirmishes are going to blank the enemy. Split up, we do want to annihilate this army. These are some quite elite units. We want to prevent the enemy from being able to recruit any more. Well, not, we're not going to prevent them from recruiting anymore, we're going to want them to have to spend a bunch of money to recruit them. Okay, gunners. Blast. Background right in front of the Swiss Grenadiers. Some hits. I'm not worried about killing this the um cavalry. try and uh, place stakes to try to interfere with our pursuit. It's not going to work though. The friends ahead of them are being annihilated. Two Swiss guards alive. You guys are going to engage a unit of light infantry. Okay, let's deploy infantry ready to deal with them. They've advanced away from us. No, push forward. Okay, 
kill the last of these marines. Militia isn't necessarily the one we're the most interested in killing. You're too far away. Excellent, you push far off for you. Alright, right, you want to continue. Get my general across this river. Kill the militia. These guys don't really know what they want to do, do they? If that's the case, then we will just... Don't let them get away, just because they're on the bridge. Some of them starting to leak through. <laughs> there we go, we're just executing them like dogs. Nice, very nice. That's a very elite force ahead of Munich, which has been annihilated. Forward! March. Great human position. Yes, sir. Ready. Your orders. Make ready. I mean, you're replenishing. These two strong units are out, are out of. They don't have any strength left. This force is reinforcing. Let's re rebuild this. Let's upgrade the roads. We've got armies back here which are trying to gather in strength. What do you need? Two, three cavalry. One skirmisher. Another skirmisher plus two infantry, I guess. Well, get rid of... That'll do. So then, in Britain. Garrison guards. Sir. Bring some infantry down from Scotland. So you need two units of cool infantry plus three units of cavalry. So let's get a regiment of horse. Let's get a horse grenade guard and a grossier plus a unit of mercenaries. Six units. Yeah, that's enough. In which case, immediately start recruiting another army. We cannot lift the boot off of their necks. But yeah, if we can take Munich, I mean, we're really squeeze them, squeezing them eastward here. And actually, we may even be able to do something a bit yes, more sir. outrageous here. Yes. Let's crew a general out of you. Recruit more infantry out of here. So we do still have scattered Austrian armies around here. Not that we mind ever so much. Ready for orders. Do we take this army, which is kind of our strongest army, and see if we can grab Hungary? Ultimately, they're only sending the garrison of Vienna against us. Let's siege Vienna. They are trapped! Swan, rot, Ready stop. and awaiting orders. Ok, 
Okay, actually, I'm maybe let's not do that. Let's just recruit lots of infantry out of here. At the ready. These units have to stay where they are <clears throat> while they reinforce. This is just going to cause carnage. These armies may be destroyed, but it will cause problems because they cannot um, claim any tax. So this army is in pretty good shape. What I could do, I would, I would like a bit more support. Ultimately, it's a very weak. Mm, it's a mixture of weak and good units. May as well just. Now they're bottled up. What is it you need? One gun, one mortar, plus. Let's do the you and you. Yeah, I guess that's it. Actually, one gun, one mortar, one infantry. Push forward. Then Comey. Prepare for the war to come. Recruit as many men as can be found. Nice. Okay. So then here you just need three units of good infantry, which you're recruiting. That's good. You're big recruiting troops from Ireland. Let's cancel recruitment of that mercenary unit. Okay. So, Stockholm. Alistair York. Let's begin to recruit an army in Sweden, because it's going to definitely be needed at some point. Something like that. Then in the town itself, let's recruit some x infantry, some line infantry. That'll be good. Okay, up in Norway. Church school, let's bring them into the Catholic fold. Make sure this navy is being rebuilt. Start to recruit some more ships. Fun. Okay, let's hit end turn and see what happens. Uh, unit exchange. No, I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Oh, that's it's it's a force in America. More reinforcements heading northward. Okay, now it's Austria's turn. So I'm going to, I'm going to well, let's see. Actually, let's find out. It's likely that with Vienna and with Hungary under siege, one or both of those armies will attempt to break out. Okay, looks like they are. Oh no. If they, if they attack us, we will probably run. Because we won't be able to hold them off. This is more about spoiling their opportunity to try and do too much. Yeah, they're panicking. They're recalling their troops. Oh, the garrison is attacking. That's not bad. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for a bit of a dicey action. Cheers, everyone.